Hey guys, Kildare here, and today I'll be looking at the new hero, Lieutenant Morales. The name's a bit long, so I'll just call her Medic. Now before we dive into her build, let's have a look at her abilities. So her Q is Healing Beam. Heal an ally every second while they are in range. Handy tip is that to turn it off, you can either press her trait, D, or my personal preferred method, which is Alt-Q at the same time. This move is pretty mana hungry if you are not keeping an eye on it, so try to avoid it when you don't need to. And keep in mind that it will continue to eat your mana even if your ally is on full health, so as well, keep an eye on that. Her W is Safeguard. Grant an ally or self resistance, reducing damage taken by 25% for 3 seconds. This move can be crucial at times to your ally's survival and your own. To get the most out of it will require really good timing. If you see someone who's about to get bursted down, pop this on them and it will reduce the overall damage they will take. Her E is Displacement Grenade. Fires a grenade that explodes on contact with first enemy hit, dealing damage and knocking back enemies. This move is once again crucial to your own survival and the survival of your allies. Keeping in mind that this will impact on minions as well, so make sure you have a clear path to your target. The grenade itself is pretty slow and easy to dodge, so definitely try to use it on a group rather than single enemies. If you feel safe to do so, you can also use it to help secure kills rather than getting away. But this requires good aim and to make sure that you do not help your enemies get away. Heroic ability, which is your R, is a choice between Stim Drone, grants an ally 75% attack speed and 25% movement speed for 10 seconds, and Medivac. You and your allies can get into a vehicle and travel across the map. Now, the Stim Drone is my personal choice all the time. It is very good, especially when it's placed on auto-attacking DPS, such as Valar, Raynor, Illidan, Falstad, Karazim, Thrall, and Sergeant Hammer. One thing to keep in mind is that the medic will need to stand still for about a second or so until the cast is finished, which leaves you very vulnerable, so be careful where you cast it. Next problem is that you won't always have one of these heroes on your team. Trust me, it happens a lot more than you would think. In that case, it's pretty much useless, or rather, cannot be used to its fullest extent. Another problem is that it relies on your allies, and more times than you think, when you put a stim drone on an ally, instead of attacking, they will run away. It is very frustrating, but if you have a buddy in Heroes of the Storm and you have good communication with them, you too might be able to carry your team. As for the medivac, I really don't like it. It's convenient and everything, but it's just a dropship. It gets you from point A to point B, and if you do show up on an objective, the enemy can just line up all their stuns and ults and be ready to wipe out your team. Your team is grouped up and vulnerable, so I don't see how it can be very good. It gets you from point A to point B, nothing more, and it doesn't help you in team fights. so I personally... And last we have the trait, which is Catechius Reactor, which restores 3% of your maximum health every second while not taking damage for 4 seconds. This trait is very necessary, as the medic is one of the squishiest heroes in the game. To put it into perspective, she has about the same maximum health as Nova, but Nova has damage, permanent stealth, and decoys. Keep in mind that you can see that your trait is active by the green glow coming from behind your shield. Also note that you can still have it active in team fights, as long as you stay at the back of your team and avoid skill shots, you should be fine. Since the medic is very easily killed due to no escape and really low maximum health, your positioning is very important. Always stay behind allies. Even if some, one of your allies does go in and dive all the way into enemy team, it's not always a good idea to follow them. So stay behind your allies at all times. For tier 1, I would recommend Trauma Trigger. You gain an untalented safeguard automatically if you drop below 50% health with a 20 second separate cooldown. Since the medic is so vulnerable, I find this talent very much so needed. Not to mention, she cannot heal herself unless not taking damage, and even then it slowly regenerates. All in all, if they switch to you, this talent will buy you a lot of time. However, if you feel that your team can protect you adequately, then I would suggest getting Prolonged Safeguard, which increases the duration of Safeguard for one second. Tier 2 is once again going to be all about your own survival, so I would recommend Advanced Block. Periodically reduces the damage taken from hero basic attacks by 50%, 3 stacks. 
This will also boost your own survivability, which is much needed. Like I said before, you have no self-heals and no escape, so all you can do is nullify the damage that you are going to take. For tier 3, I would recommend either Clear or Call Down Mule. Clear is a pretty good choice if they are actively focusing you and you think they are going to get to you. However, if you are doing pretty well for yourself, then Call Down Mule might be the better option. This also depends on the enemy team composition and what map you are on. Another good option if the enemy team is CC heavy is Cleanse, either to put on yourself or someone who is likely to be focused. For tier 4, also known as your heroic ability, I pretty much always pick Stim Drone. Stim Drone is a very good heroic ability and has the ability to completely change the team fight. Like I said earlier, you should try to put this on an auto attacking hero. In some games, you may get a team composition that does not have any. In this situation, you are pretty much forced to get the Medi back, which really sucks because although it is convenient heroic to have, it's not really a game changer in my opinion. For tier 5, I recommend Couples Therapy. Once again, this will increase your own survivability, getting 25% healing to yourself while you heal an ally. Personally, I pretty much always pick this one. The other options on the list aren't really appealing. For tier 6, I pick Inoculation, which increases the initial damage absorption of Safeguard by 50% for the first 1.5 seconds. This move can really mean the difference between life and death for your allies if they get focused. However, if you find that the enemy team does not focus one target and does large AoE damage, it might be worth getting Shield Sequencer instead. And last, we have the tier 7. I normally go for a Kikidius Reactor 2.0, which, which once again boosts your own resilience going into team fights and gives you pretty much full health and mana sustain, so you should never feel the need to hearth back to base. However, like I said, if the enemy team is dealing a lot of AoE damage, then Storm Shield would probably be a better option for you. Well guys, thanks for watching. Always remember, there is no one perfect build out there, and I always encourage you to go out and make your own builds and play with what is comfortable for you. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and let me know what you thought or your own builds if you, if you feel like it. And if you have, haven't subscribed, you can give it a shot, and you might like what else I have to offer. Have a good one, guys.